Mobilization in Ukraine. Men avoid conscription en masse for money. The Washington Post. As Ukraine prepares to ramp up conscription to defend against a Russian invasion after a deadline to register with military recruiters passed this week, some men are dodging the draft by paying thousands of dollars for help leaving the country illegally, the Washington Post reports. Smugglers who help cross the border often charge more than $5,000 according to Ukrainian officials and men who have paid for the service. Those caught often end up facing exactly what they hoped to avoid, military service. The main thing is that at some point I realized, and this scared me, that I would not be able to make an independent decision about whether to mobilize or not, that I would not be able to decide the fate of my freedom, said Alexander, 37, who paid $8,000 for help crossing the border in late May. The authors note that the high costs and risks some men are willing to take to avoid conscription highlight growing tensions in Ukrainian society. Yes, more than two years after the Russian invasion, people strongly support the army, but few who have not yet volunteered to fight want to do so now. Even before the end of the mobilization period, officials said the number of newly mobilized soldiers had increased, more than doubling in May and June compared to the previous two months. Men between the ages of 18 and 60 have been banned from leaving the country without permission since martial law was imposed in February 2022. Kyiv has increasingly restricted who is allowed to legally leave for short periods and for specific purposes. Even some parliament members have complained that their requests for business trips have been rejected, the media outlet recalls. Recently, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine revealed details of the procedure for imposing fines for untimely data updates. Thus, for untimely updated military registration data, that is, before July the 16th, not all conscripts will be fined immediately. The corresponding procedure can last for three months to a year. Difficult situation arose for Ukrainian army in Donetsk. Russians reached outskirts of Chasov Yar. Ukraine is trying to contain Russia's advance along the entire front. Russian troops appear to have captured the village of Urozeno, which Ukraine recaptured last summer. In the east, the invaders are closing in on a key supply road. The New York Times reports that the occupiers captured Urozeno over the weekend. Russia's advance is a worrying development for Kiev as its troops struggle to resist attacks along the entire front line. In the east, the Russians are also making progress. They have reached the outskirts of Chasov Yar, a stronghold in the region, and are closing in on a key Ukrainian supply route. Ukraine hopes that weapons and ammunition recently delivered by Western allies will help it hold off Russian forces. That has already happened in the northeast, where beefed-up Ukrainian defenses have stopped a Russian advance that threatened Kharkov. U.S. officials said last week that Russia is unlikely to make significant territorial gains in the coming months. Russia's defense ministry said on Sunday that its forces had captured Urozain, a small village in southeastern Ukraine. Urozain was one of a handful of southern villages that Ukraine liberated last summer, achieving rare success in its counter-offensive. Kyiv held Urozain for nearly a year after its liberation, despite an intense Russian bombing campaign in recent months that has included glide bombs, heavy artillery and powerful missiles. Ukraine has long argued that defending small places with little strategic value is worth the sacrifice and weapons. Attacking Russians have paid an even higher price. The Ukrainian army's general staff said that the hottest situation along the front line was near Pokrovsk, an eastern town that has been turned into a military garrison. It sits on a key road linking several Ukrainian-controlled towns in the region. Since Russia captured Avdiivka earlier this year, its forces have been slowly advancing toward the key T0504 road. They are now less than 7 kilometers south of the road within range of Russian artillery and drones. If Russian troops were to reach the road, Ukrainian military operations in the eastern Donetsk region would be seriously hampered. In particular, cutting the road would further isolate the town of Chasov Yar, one of Moscow's main targets. Ukrainian forces recently retreated from the eastern edge of Chasov Yar. Russian forces also recently broke into the neighboring towns of Toretsk and New York, increasing pressure on Ukrainian supply lines. For Ukraine, the situation is not so bleak. Its troops have now managed to stop Russian attacks near the city of Kharkov, where Moscow opened a new front in late April, 
and made its biggest territorial gains in more than a year. Russian troops crossed the border north and east of the city and quickly captured settlements in areas that were weakly defended. Experts say the Ukrainian army rushed in elite brigades and slowly retreated to more fortified positions, a strategy that eventually helped halt the Russian advance. Recent shipments of American weapons and ammunition have also helped the Ukrainian army resist Russian attacks, as has U.S. permission for Ukraine to strike Russian military targets across the border.